Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some questions of chemistry, which can be used to study for the VIT Triple E exam. So today we're going to be looking at these sample questions and how to solve them effectively. So let's start off with our first question. Nucleotides in DNA are linked by hydrogen bonds, 3 to 5 phosphodiester bonds, glycosidic bonds, peptide bonds. So which of these is the correct answer? Well, if we look at the hydrogen bond, it is the bond that is found between hydrogen and another atom from another molecule. For example, if you have water molecules, present together, then the hydrogen from one water molecule will have a weak connection with the oxygen of the other molecule. This causes a faint attraction, attraction force, which is called the hydrogen bond. So therefore, option A is incorrect. This isn't an exact bond, it's more of like a van der Waals kind of force. If we look at option D, peptide bonds. Peptide bonds are found between amine group and the acidic group in proteins. So as we know, proteins are made up of amino acids. So amino acids contain an amine group at one end and an acidic group at the other end. So the amine group of one atom, I mean one molecule binding with the acidic group of the another molecule is called the peptide bond. So option D is incorrect. Option C, glycosidic bond, this involves loss of H2O to bind two carbohydrate molecules. This is usually found in case of glucose binding together to form sucrose. So therefore, option C is again incorrect. The only correct option is option B, 3 to 5 phosphodiester bond. So basically, you have a phosphate bond between the third carbon of one nucleotide and the fifth carbon of another nucleotide. So therefore option B is the correct option. Now let's look at another question. The correct order of the thermal stability of hydrogen halides HX is HI is greater than HCl less than HF less greater than HBr and three other options. So among the given orders which of these is correct? Now Thermal stability refers to the stability of the molecule in response to heat. So as in how long it would take or how much heat it's required to break the bonds. So thermal stability, as is asked in the question, is directly proportional to energy of dissociation. And this dissociation energy is directly proportional to the bond strength. If you need to have a higher if you if you have a higher amount of dissociation energy for a molecule, it means that the bond there is stronger. So therefore higher bond strength would result in greater thermal stability. And again the bond strength would depend on the halide itself and the electronegativity and st stuff like that. So when we look at an order for the order for bo bond strength, we find that HF is greater than HCl is greater than HBr is greater than HI. So it so hydrogen fluoride has the highest amount of bond strength, followed by HCl, then HBr, and finally at, at the end we have HI. So the same order, which is applicable for bond strength, is also applicable for thermal stability. So therefore, the correct option would be option C, 
HF greater than HCL greater than HBR greater than HI. So therefore we can successfully conclude that option C is the right option based on the fact that thermostability is directly proportional to bond strength and since the bond strength uh, is dependent on the electronegativity so hydrogen fluoride is more fluorine is more electronegative so therefore it binds it has stronger bonds so therefore when we look at it in this particular order HF greater than HCl greater than HBr greater than HI you find that that order makes sense because of because it represents the order of the bond strength now the final question for today which of the following statements is correct all amino acids except lysine are optically active all amino acids are optically active all amino acids except glycine are optically active all amino acids except glutamic acids are optically active so how do we solve this question well for that we need to find out what optically active means now in terms of amino acids optically active means that four different molecules are attached to the central carbon atom now what does this mean the structure of an amino acid goes like this you have a central carbon atom you have a COOH group the carboxylic acid group you have an amino group that's NH2 you have a hydrogen group now all of these are standard in all amino acids and then finally you have an R group now this R can be anything it can be an acid it can be an amine it can be you know a long carbon chain so therefore this is the general structure of the amino acid now when an amino acid is optically active the R would not be equal to any of the three um, molecules given here so therefore all four of the molecules attached to the carbon would be different and that makes it optically active now um, in this particular option it's seen that lysine glycine and glutamic acid are given as exceptions so we need to find out whether they are actual exceptions in order to determine the correct option so this right here is the structure of lysine as you can see you have an amino group an acidic group a hydrogen group and then a long chain amino group so as you can see lysine definitely is optically active because there are four different molecules attached to the central carbon so therefore option A is incorrect what about option C all amino acids except glycine are optically active now this is glycine this is the simplest form of an amino acid you have the carboxylic group the amino group but then you have two hydrogen atoms attached to the central carbon now since optically active means you need to have four different things attached to the central carbon therefore we can see that glycine doesn't fit into this category since it has two hydrogen atoms attached to the central carbon it isn't optically active so therefore you can safely say that glycine is not optically active so option C would be correct this also means that option D is in I mean option B is incorrect because it says all amino acids are optically active but since we found an exception in glycine so therefore that option also turns out incorrect now if we were to look at glutamic acid again you have an amino group carboxylic acid hydrogen and then this carboxylic group so therefore again these are all different so that means option D is also incorrect because glutamic acid is also optically active so therefore for this question the correct answer is option C all amino acids except glycine are optically active the others which are lysine and glutamic acid they are all optically active because they have four different molecules attached to the central carbon so option C is the correct option now that concludes this episode of witty workshop we hope you found this episode interesting 
For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate. If you like this video, then you can please hit the like button and also share it with your friends. And if you want to, you know, get the latest updates, you can also hit the notifications icon that is again present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.